So the, the thing about Skip, <laughs> when I think about Skip Gates, and, and I like Skip well enough, I'm working with him on a new project that he's doing, um, but what Skip Gates is brilliant at is Skip Gates is, is the Booker T. Washington of his time. And I mean that in the most positive way that I can, which is to say he knows how to choose a set of intellectual and policy questions that are out there on the planet, attach himself and the study of African Americans to those central projects, and bring in tremendous resources for the study of them. So when the world started moving towards genes as a way of understanding everything from breast cancer to fertility treatments to, you know, I mean, genes are the most in vogue thing going on. Skip said, all right, let's get African American studies onto that bandwagon, right? I'm not suggesting that he's completely an intellectual prostitute. I suspect he has actual interest in these areas, but that fundamentally what Skip does is pick the big ideas and then attach African American studies to them. Now, usually that is a um, sort of value free kind of thing, right? We are as well studied in English as in sociology, as in history. I mean, there are, there are many things we could study black folks on. But I am very nervous about the introduction of the study of race in genetics because this is the history of 20th century racism has been genetics-based or biology-based arguments around race. I mean, if we can go back to the 18th century even and see Thomas Jefferson, our great, you know, life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness guy, framing in notes on the state of Virginia a biological explanation for the enslavement of black people, right? That there are these sort of biological differences which constitute different races. Now, I suspect that what Skip is up to from, what, from the work I've seen him doing in trying to undermine that by showing just how much most of our genetic patterns and biological heredity is more mixed than singular, right? So he keeps finding that there are, you're as likely to have blood from Iceland and from Africa and from, but, right, anytime we start making claims on our ability to understand who we are in the present based on genetic encoding and biological encoding from the past that is related to racialized ideas, I think we open up very quickly um, several centuries that have always been used against the interest of African Americans. I'm simply not convinced that he can um, or that this work, not just him, but that this work can provide a space that actually intervenes on behalf of African American interests. My feeling is that it will continue to reinscribe the idea that race is real and different in a biological and genetic way that makes it okay to circumscribe some communities to lower life opportunities overall because it is the extent of what they are genetically capable of doing. And so it makes me, it makes me very, very nervous.